Fourthly, is everybody still here? We're called to master the areas that we've been called to. Someone say master. Think about this for a second. Go and make disciples of all nations. Some of us have trouble getting out of bed. Some of us have trouble overcoming addictions. Some of us have trouble overcoming our temper. Some of us have troubles in our marriages and troubles in our businesses. How can God call us to disciple nations? How dare He do that? Because He believes in us. Look at someone and say, God believes in you. Oh, come on. You didn't do that. You did it with no sense, no verve at all. Thank you. Look at someone and say, God believes in you. <laughs> you might think this is the stupidest plan in the world, but God believes that you're one of His ambassadors. And God says, listen, not only am I going to teach you how to get out of bed, I'm going to teach you how to overcome addictions. I'm going to teach you how to overcome your problems so that one day you can lead others. How do we disciple a nation? One person at a time? One business at a time? One school at a time? One industry at a time? But friends, if we're horrible at what we do, how are we going to influence? We've got to master our calling. Tap into all the revelations of God to make us better employees, make us better business owners, make us better prayer warriors, make us better moms and dads. We tap into heaven to, so that we can master the calling of God in our lives. That's what making nations, that's what discipleship making is. We become masters. We gain influence by what? Excellence. How, how do we want to disciple America if we're not excellent? Excellent schools, excellent businesses, excellent families, excellent personally. If we are not living in excellence and trying, that's our got to be our goal. Is we got to, man, we, we have access to heaven. Let's become excellent at earth. Let us become the solutions to earth. And